This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, see LibriVox.org. Today's reading by Hugh McGuire. Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. Book 17. Birds of Passage. Song of the Universal. One. Come, said the muse, sing me a song no poet has yet chanted. Sing me the universal. In this broad earth of ours, amid the measureless grossness and the slag, enclosed and safe within its center heart, nestles the seed perfection. By every life a share, or more or less, none born, but it is born concealed or unconcealed, the seed is waiting. Two, lo, keen-eyed towering science, as from tall peaks the modern overlooking, successive absolute fiats issuing. Yet again, lo, the soul above all science, for it has history gathered like husks around the globe, for it the entire star myriads roll through the sky. In spiral routes by long detours, as a much tracking ship upon the sea, for it the partial to the permanent flowing, for it the real to the ideal tends, for it the mystic evolution, not the right only justified, what we call evil, also justified. From their masks, no matter what. From the huge festering trunk, from craft and guile and tears. Health to emerge and joy, joy universal. Out of the bulk, the morbid and the shallow. Out of the bad majority, the varied countless frauds of men and states. Electric, antiseptic, yet cleaving, suffusing all. Only the good is universal. 3. Over the mountain growths, disease and sorrow, An uncaught bird is ever hovering, hovering, High in the purer, happier air. From imperfection's murkiest cloud Darts always forth one ray of perfect light, one flash of heaven's glory. To fashion customs discord, to the mad babble din, the deafening orgies, soothing each lull a strain is heard, just heard, from some far shore the final chorus sounding. Oh, the blessed eyes, the happy hearts, that see, that know the guiding thread so fine along the mighty labyrinth. 4. And thou, America, for the scheme's culmination, its thought and its reality, for these, not from thyself, thou hast arrived. Thou too surroundest all, embracing, carrying, welcoming all, thou too by pathways broad and new, to the ideal tendest. The measured faiths of other lands, the grandeurs of the past, are not for thee, but grandeurs of thine own, deific faiths and amplitudes, absorbing, comprehending all, all eligible to all. All, all for immortality. Love the light silently wrapping all, nature's amelioration, blessing all. The blossoms, fruits of ages, orchards, divine and certain, forms, objects, growths, humanities, to spiritual images ripening. Give me, O oh God, sing that thought. Give me, give him or her, I love this quenchless faith. In thy ensemble, whatever else withheld, withhold not from us belief in plan of thee enclosed in time and space, health, peace, salvation, universal. Is it a dream? 
nay, but the lack of it the dream, and failing it life's lore and wealth a dream, and all the world a dream. Pioneers, O oh pioneers, come, my tan-faced children, follow well in order. Get your weapons ready. Have you your pistols? Have you your sharp-edged axes? Pioneers, O oh pioneers. For we cannot tarry here. We must march, my darlings. We must bear the brunt of danger. We, the youthful, sinewy races, all the rest on us depend. Pioneers, O oh pioneers. You youths, western youths so impatient, full of action, full of manly pride and friendship. Plain I see you, western youths, see you tramping with the foremost. Pioneers, O oh pioneers. Have the elder races halted? Do they droop? and end their lesson wearied over there beyond the seas we take up the task eternal and the burden and the lesson pioneer O oh, pioneers all the past we leave behind we debouch upon a newer mightier world varied world fresh and strong the world we seize world of labor and the march pioneers O oh, pioneers, we detachment steady throwing, Down the edges, through the passes, up the mountain steep, Conquering, holding, daring, venturing as we go the unknown ways. Pioneers, O oh, pioneers, we primeval forests felling, We the rivers stemming, vexing, we and piercing deep the mines within, we the surface broad surveying, we the virgin soil upheaving, pioneers, O oh pioneers. Colorado men we are, from the peaks gigantic, from the great Sierras and the high plateaus, from the mine and from the gully, from the hunting trail we come. Pioneers, O oh pioneers, from Nebraska, from Arkansas, central inland race we are, from Missouri with the continental blood interveined all the hands of comrades clasping all the southern all the northern pioneers o oh, pioneers o oh, resistless restless race o oh, beloved race in all o oh, my breast aches with tender love for all o oh, i mourn you yet exult i am wrapped with love for all pioneers o oh, pioneers Raise the mighty mother mistress, waving high the delicate mistress over all the starry mistress. Bend your heads all, raise the fanged and warlike mistress, stern, impassive, weapon mistress, pioneers, O oh pioneers. See my children, resolute children, by those swarms upon our rear we must never yield or falter. Ages back in ghostly millions, frowning there, behind us urging, Pioneers, O oh pioneers, on and on the compact ranks, with the sessions ever waiting, with the places of the dead quickly filled, through the battle, through defeat, moving yet and never stopping, Pioneers, O oh pioneers, O oh to die advancing on are there some of us to droop and die has the hour come then upon the march we fittest die soon and sure the gap is filled pioneers oh pioneers all the pulses of the world falling in they beat for us with western movement beat holding single or together steady moving to the front all for us pioneers oh pioneers Life's involved and varied pageants, all the forms and shows, all the workmen at their work, all the seamen and the landsmen, all the masters with their slaves. Pioneers, O oh pioneers. All the hapless, 
silent lovers, all the prisoners in the prisons, all the righteous and the wicked, all the joyous, all the sorrowing, all the living, all the dying, pioneers, oh, pioneers. I too, with my soul and body, we, a curious trio, picking, wandering on our way, through these shores amid the shadows, with the apparitions pressing. Pioneers, O oh pioneers. Lo the darting bowling orb, lo the brother orbs around, all the clustering suns and planets, all the dazzling days, all the mystic nights with dreams. Pioneers, O oh pioneers. These are of us, they are with us, all for primal needed work, while the followers there in embryo wait behind. We today's procession heading, we the route for travel clearing. Pioneers, O oh pioneers! O oh, you daughters of the West, O oh, you young and elder daughters, O oh, you mothers and you wives, never must you be divided. In our ranks you move, united, pioneers. O oh, pioneers, minstrels latent on the prairies, shrouded bards of other lands, you may rest, you have done your work. Soon I hear you coming, warbling, soon you rise and tramp amid us. Pioneers, O oh, pioneers, not for delectation sweet, not the cushion and the slipper, not the peaceful and the studious, not the riches safe and palling, not for us the tame enjoyment, pioneers, O oh pioneers. Do the feasters, gluttonous feast, do the corpulent sleepers sleep? Have they locked and bolted doors? Still be ours the diet hard and the blanket on the ground, pioneers, O oh pioneers. Has the night descended? Was the road of late so toilsome? Did we stop, discouraged, nodding on our way? Yet a passing hour I yield you in your tracks to pause oblivious. Pioneers, O oh pioneers. Till with the sound of trumpet, far, far off the daybreak call, Hark! How loud and clear I hear it wind. Swift! To the head of the army, swift, spring to your places, pioneers, O oh pioneers. To you, whoever you are, I fear you are walking the walk of dreams. I fear these supposed realities are to melt from under your feet and hands. Even now your features, joys, speech, house, trade, manners, troubles, follies, costumes, crimes, dissipate away from you. Your true soul and body appear before me. They stand forth out of affairs, out of commerce, shops, work, farms, clothes, the house, buying, selling, eating, drinking, suffering, dying. Whoever you are, now I place my hand upon you, that you be my poem. I whisper with lips close to your ear. I have loved many women and men, but I love none better than you. Oh, I have been dilatory and dumb. I should have made my way straight to you long ago. I should have blabbed nothing but you. I should have chanted nothing but you. I will leave all and come and make the hymns of you. None has understood you, but I understood you. None has done justice to you. You have not done justice to yourself. None but has found you imperfect. I only find no imperfection in you. None would subordinate you. I only am he who will ever consent to subordinate you. I only am he who places over you no master, owner, better, God, beyond what waits intrinsically in yourself. Painters have painted their swarming groups in the center figure of all. From the head of the center figure spreading a nimbus of gold-colored light. But I paint myriads of heads, but I paint no head without its nimbus of gold-colored light. 
from my hand, from the brain of every man and woman, it streams. Effulgently flowing forever. Oh, I could sing such grandeurs and glories about you. You have not known what you are. You have slumbered upon yourself all your life. Your eyelids have been the same as closed most of the time. What you have done returns already in mockeries. Your thrift, knowledge, prayers, if they do not return in mockeries, what is their return? The mockeries are not you. Underneath them and within them I see you lurk. I pursue you where none else has pursued you. Silence the desk, the flippant expression, the night, the accustomed routine. If these conceal you from others or from yourself, they do not conceal you from me. The shaved face, the unsteady eye, the impure complexion. If these balk others, they do not balk me. The pert apparel, the deformed attitude, drunkenness, greed, premature death, all these I part aside. There is no endowment in man or woman that is not tallied in you. There is no virtue, no beauty in man or woman, but as good is in you. No pluck, no endurance in others, but as good is in you. No pleasure waiting for others, but an equal pleasure waits for you. As for me, I give nothing to anyone, except I give the like carefully to you. I sing the songs of glory of none, not God, sooner than I sing the songs of glory of you. Whoever you are, claim your own at any hazard. These shows of the east and west are tame compared to you. These immense meadows, these interminable rivers, you are immense and interminable as they. These furies, elements, storms, motions of nature, throes of apparent disillusion. You are he or she who is master or mistress over them, master or mistress in your own right over nature, elements, pain, passion, disillusion. The hopples fall from your ankles. You find an unfailing sufficiency, old or young, male or female, rude, low, rejected by the rest. Whatever you are promulgates itself through birth, life, death, burial. The means are provided. Nothing is scanted through angers, losses, ambition, ignorance, ennui. What you are picks its way. France, the eighteenth year of these states. A great year in place, a harsh, discordant natal scream outsounding, to touch the mother's heart closer than any yet. I walked the shores of my eastern sea, heard over the waves the little voice, saw the divine infant where she woke mournfully wailing amid the roar of cannon, curses, shouts crash of falling buildings, was not so sick from the blood in the gutters running, nor from the single corpses, nor those in heaps, nor those borne away in the tumbrils, was not so desperate at the battues of death, was not so shocked at the repeated fusillades of the guns. Pale, silent, stern, what could I say to that long, accrued retribution? Could I wish humanity different? Could I wish the people made of wood and stone? Or that there be no justice in destiny or time? Liberty, O oh mate for me, Here too the blaze, the grape-shot and the axe, In reserve, to fetch them out in case of need. Here too, through long repressed, can never be destroyed. Here too could rise at last, murdering and ecstatic. Here too, demanding full arrears of vengeance. Hence I sign this salute over the sea, and I do not deny the terrible red birth and baptism, but remember the little voice that I heard wailing, 
and wait with perfect trust no matter how long. And from today, sad and cogent, I maintain the bequeathed cause as for all lands. And I send these words to Paris with my love, and I guess some chansonnier there will understand them. For I guess there is latent music yet in France, floods of it. Oh, I hear already the bustle of instruments. They will soon be drowning all that would interrupt them. Oh, I think the east wind brings a triumphal and free march. It reaches hither, it swells me to joyful madness. I will run, transpose it in words, to justify. I will yet sing a song for you, ma femme. Myself and mine. Myself and mine, gymnastics ever, to stand the cold or heat, to take good aim with a gun, to sail a boat, to manage horses, to beget superb children, to speak readily and clearly, to feel at home among common people, and to hold our own in terrible positions on land and sea. Not for an embroiderer. There will always be plenty of embroiderers, I welcome them also. But for the fiber of things and for inherent men and women. Not to chisel ornaments, but to chisel with free stroke the heads and limbs of plenteous, supreme gods, that the states may realize them walking and talking. Let me have my own way. Let others promulgate the laws. I will make no account of the laws. Let others praise eminent men and hold up peace. I hold up agitation and conflict. I praise no eminent men. I rebuke to his face the one that was thought most worthy. Who are you, and what are you secretly guilty of all your life? Will you turn aside all your life? Will you grub and chatter all your life? And who are you, babbling by rote, years, pages, languages, reminiscence? Unwitting today that you do not know how to speak properly a single word. Let others finish specimens, I never finish specimens. I start them by exhaustless laws as nature does, fresh and modern continually. I give nothing as duties. What others give as duties I give as living impulses. Shall I give the heart's action as a duty? Let others dispose of questions I dispose of nothing. I arouse unanswerable questions. Who are they I see and touch, and what about them? What about these likes of myself that draw me so close by tender directions and indirections? I call to the world to distrust the accounts of my friends, but listen to my enemies, as I myself do. I charge you forever reject those who would expound me, for I cannot expound myself. I charge that there be no theory or school founded out of me. I charge you to leave all free as I have left all free. After me, vista. Oh, I see life is not short, but immeasurably long. I henceforth tread the world chaste, temperate, and early riser, a steady grower, Every hour the semen of centuries, and still of centuries. I must follow up these continual lessons of the air, water, earth. I perceive I have no time to lose. Year of Meteors, 1859 to 1860. Year of Meteors, brooding year. I would bind in words retrospective of some of your deeds and signs. I would sing your contest for the 19th Presidentiad. I would sing how an old man, tall, with white hair, mounted the scaffold in Virginia. I was at hand, silent. I stood with teeth shut closed. I watched. I stood very near you, old man, when cool and indifferent, 
but trembling with age and with your unhealed wounds you mounted the scaffold. I would sing in my copious song your census returns of the states. The tables of population and products I would sing of your ships and their cargoes, the proud black ships of Manhattan arriving, some filled with immigrants, some from the isthmus with cargoes of gold. Songs thereof I would sing, to all that hitherward comes would welcome give, and you would I sing, fair stripling, welcome to you from me, young prince of England. Remember you surging Manhattan's crowds, as you passed with your cortege of nobles, there in the crowd stood I and singled you out with attachment nor forget I to sing of the wonder, the ship as she swam up my bay, well shaped and stately, the great eastern swam up my bay, she was six hundred feet long, her moving swiftly surrounded by myriads of small craft, I forget not to sing, nor the comet that came unannounced out of the north flaring in heaven, nor the strange, huge meteor procession dazzling and clear shooting above our heads. A moment, a moment long it sailed its balls of unearthly light over our heads, then departed, dropped in the night, and was gone. Of such, and fitful as they, I sing, with gleams from them would gleam and patch these chants, your chants, O year all mottled with evil and good, year of forebodings, year of comets and meteors, transient and strange, lo, even here one equally transient and strange. As I flit through you hastily, soon to fall and be gone, what is this chant? What am I myself but one of your meteors? With Antecedents, one with antecedents, with my fathers and mothers, and the accumulations of past ages, with all which, had it not been, I would not now be here as I am, with Egypt, India, Phoenicia, Greece, and Rome, with the Celt, the Scandinavian, the Alb, and the Saxon, with antique maritime ventures, laws, artisanship, wars, and journeys, with the poet, the scald, the saga, the myth, and the oracle, with the sale of slaves, with enthusiasts, with the troubadour, the crusader, and the monk, with those old continents whence we have come to this new continent, with the fading kingdoms and kings over there, with the fading religions and priests, with the small shores we look back from our own large and present shores, with countless years drawing themselves onward and arrived at these years, you and me arrived, America arrived in making this year, this year, sending itself ahead countless years to come. Two. Oh, but it is not the years, it is I, it is you. We touch all laws and tally all antecedents. We are the scald, the oracle, the monk, and the knight. We easily include them, and more. We stand amid time beginningless and endless. We stand amid evil and good. All swings around us. There is as much darkness as light. The very sun swings itself and its system of planets around us. Its sun and its again all swing around us. As for me, torn, stormy amid these vehement days, I have the idea of all, and am all, and believe in all. I believe materialism is true, and spiritualism is true. I reject no part. Have I forgotten any part, anything in the past? Come to me, whoever and whatever, till I give you recognition. I respect Assyria, China, Teutonia and the Hebrews. I adopt each theory, myth, god, and demigod. I see that the old accounts, Bibles, genealogies are true 
without exception. I assert that all past days were what they must have been, and that they could no how have been better than they were, and that today is what it must be, and that America is, and that today and America could no how be better than they are. 3. In the name of these states, and in your and my name, the past, and in the name of these states, and in your and my name, the present time. I know that the past was great, and the future will be great, and I know that both curiously conjoint in the present time. For the sake of him I typify, for the common average man's sake, for your sake if you are he. And that where I am, or you are, this present day, there is the center of all days, all races. And there is meaning to us of all that has ever come, of races and days, or ever will come. End of Book 17